Hello everyone. This week we're going to look at doing a square ball. I've never done one of these before, so bear with me. I also want to apologize because somehow I've lost some of the video footage. I know I pressed the stop button on the footage, but when I looked at it for the camera and on Google Photos, it wasn't there. I have no idea what happened to it. It's where I'm turning the inside of the bowl. Or shaping it, actually. So I apologize for that. If you want to skip to the end and look at the finished bowl, that's fine with me. I didn't speed anything up this time except a little bit of the sanding. All turning is in real time. So if you want to watch me turn the outside of the bowl and a little bit of the inside, um, I appreciate you sticking with me. So here I'm just using my 5 8 bowl gouge to try to shape the outside. I'm trying to get the outside of the bowl sloped up to the points. Now this wood is Sipo Mahogany. We've been using this for quite a while now to replace Honduran mahogany. The characteristics of it are pretty good as far as being weatherproof. Uh, the grain's a little bit different. You don't have as much wild, twisted grain as you do in Honduran mahogany. And some of this grain is really beautiful. It's, it's just about just as hard to. get a lot of tear out on the grain, on the side grain when it's coming out. Uh, fortunately for me, I have a huge carpenter shop to work with a lot of tools, so I just sanded off the little bad spots with the bell sander.
I decided to turn a foot on this bolt. Um, I have a mortise here to fill in the, the piece of motor arc that I had. So I decided it looked better with a foot instead of just in the side and bottom of the bolt. like to see more videos like this, make sure that you subscribe down at the bottom, click the bell, and that way you'll be notified when I put out a new video. And if you like the video, please like it. And I would like to know in the comments if you like seeing live turning like this, or would you rather see a spin? Here I'm just doing a full cut to finish shaping the outside of the ball. Uh, finish up with the shear screen here. Uh, seeing how I advanced it, uh, to the points. Here you see I have the advantage of using air powered sanding. This is my regular work sander. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I really want to apologize for not being able to show you shaping the, the wings down to the bottom of the ball there. I am taking care of that problem as we speak and I'll have a new camera coming in here in a couple of weeks. Do another one of these bowls eventually and I will make sure that I have all of the video up for you. Here in a second, like a dummy, I just stick the end of my chisel on the edge and get a good catch. This Sipa mahogany cuts really nice, a lot better than 
regular mahogany or walnut. Don't get as much tear out in the end grain for sure. Watching the video here, I need to back cut the bevel on my 5 8 bowl gap if I'm going to do any small bowls like this. It really burnishes it real bad. getting ready to shear scrape here and what you can't see in the video is I'm pulling a burr on my scraper. I use a solid carbide router bit that's beveled and it's used for laminate cutting usually but I drilled a hole, quarter inch hole in a stick and use that as a burnisher. It works great. You can always tell what kind of burr you have on your scrapers, either the sheer scraper or a regular scraper. And yes, I do use regular scrapers for some stuff. It's by the look of your shavings. If you're having nice, clean shavings and it's cutting good, then you know that your burr is fine. If you start getting powdery shavings, then you need to stop and put a burr back on it and go back to scraping again. sanding on the inside and outside of the bowl make sure that I keep my hands away from the wings I'll hand sand the wings I'm not gonna risk it neither should you coming to the finished product here and what I did was I just took some oil and some beeswax and put it on here and the finish came out pretty good. I only sanded the T40. Beautiful grain to it. I hope you enjoyed the video and looking forward to seeing you on the next one.